and today's uh, session I am going to explain about uh, pragma exception in it. So, what is the pragma exception in it and what is the importance of this? In PLSQL number of uh, uh, predefined exceptions and uh, there are number of errors, but not all errors are having predefined names only some errors are having predefined names. For example, you try to divide a number with 0, one exception is raised, so that error is having a predefined name. The variable value is exceeding the size, so that causes some error, that error is having a predefined name value error. If you perform any invalid mathematical operation, uh, one error raises, so that error is having a predefined name invalid number. You entered some employee number that is not found in the table, one exception raises and that is having a predefined name no data found. You try to insert duplicate values into primary key columns, one exception raises that is duplicate value and index. Like that not all errors are having predefined names, some errors are having predefined names. So then question is if the error is not having predefined name, how to handle that error? Okay? If any error is there, but that error is not having predefined name, how to handle that error? So, what Oracle says, if the error is not having a predefined name, you can give name to that error. So, if Oracle is not given the name, like we can give the name to that error. So, how to give the name to that error? By using pragma exception in it. So, by using this pragma exception in it, we can give name to the error the, that is not having predefined name. So, this takes two arguments, the first argument is user defined exception name and the next argument is error code. So, pragma exception takes two arguments, the first argument is user defined exception and the second argument is error code. So, let, let us take one example, suppose there is some error, there is some error. So, for example, there is an error called minus 0 2292 this error is not having a predefined name, I want to give name to this error. So, what I am doing is first I am declaring a exception ABC exception and what is this ABC exception is it is a user defined exception. So, ABC exception is a user defined exception. Next pragma exception in it ABC minus 2292. Okay. So, minus 2292 error is not having predefined name, I am giving the name to that error. What is the name given to that error is ABC. So, this is not having a predefined name, I am giving the name to that error, the name given to this error is ABC. So, in PLSQL program, if you want to handle this minus 2292 error, then use name ABC. So, in your PLSQL program, so, if you want to handle this minus 2292 error, then use name ABC. So, I will demonstrate with one example. Let us take one example. So, here what I am doing is I have written one PLSQL program. In this PLSQL program, I entered some department number. I entered some department number and the department numbers are stored in VDNO. Next, what I am trying to do? I am trying to delete the record from department table where department number equals to VDNO. Suppose assume entered value for department number is 10. So, what this command is doing? This command is deleting the record from department table where department number equals to 10. So, okay. Then let us execute this program. Let me run this program. I am running this program. So, entered value for department number is 10. Now, see this. So, then see this. Entered department number is 10. Now, you are getting an error. So, what is that error is? ORA minus 0 2 2 9 2 integrity constraint violated child record found. So, I just entered department number 10. So, after that you are getting an error. What is that error is? minus 0 2 2 9 2 integrity constraint violated child record found. What is this is? So, there is a relationship between a department table and employee table. In that relationship 
department table is acting as parent and employee table is acting as child. So, there is a relationship between two tables department table and employee table. In that relationship department is acting as parent and employee table is acting as child. So, the records in department table are parent records and the records in employee table are child records. So, in this example what I am trying to do I am trying to delete the record from department table of parent table I am trying to delete the parent record. But if this parent record is associated with child records and the parent record cannot be deleted maybe this parent record is associated with some child records. So, you cannot delete this parent record if you try to delete the parent record then you are getting some error or a minus 2 to 9 to. But so, what is my requirement is ok this is a message generated by oracle I do not want to show this system generated message I want to display my own message. So, then what I what I need to do is I need to handle this I need to handle this exception, but to handle this exception. So, uh, exception is handled by using name, but here this exception is not having a predefined name if this exception is not having predefined name you can give name to this error. So, how with the help of what pragma exception in it. So, let us go to the program. So, in this program so this statement is causing some error. So, because you are trying to delete the parent record, but that parent record is associated with child. So, I want to handle it, but to handle that error it is not having predefined name. So, then we can give the name to that error how means by using pragma like so go to this declaration part in the declaration part declare child found exception what is the child found is the child found is so user defined exception next pragma exception underscore in it then so what is the first argument is this pragma exception takes two arguments and the first argument is exception name. So, what the exception name is child phone and second argument is error code what the error code is minus 0 2 2 9 2. So, this error minus 0 2 2 9 2 is not having predefined name I am giving name to this error what the name given to this error is child phone. So, in this PLS skill program. So, if we want to handle this minus 2 2 9 2 error then use name child phone. So, let us go to the exception block when child phone then I want to display a message a simple user friendly message that is dbms underscore output dot put underscore line single quotes child record phone. When child phone then dbms underscore output dot put underscore line child record found. So, I am printing a message. So, let me run this program sir I am executing this program and also set this server output on. So, run this then department number is 10. So, entered value for department number is 10 next what you are trying to delete you are trying to delete the a record from department table where department number equals to 10. So, this statement causes what exception when the statement causes exception. So, uh, the control will go to the exception block. So, what the exception riser is minus 2 to 9 to error and you have given some name to this header the name given to this error is child phone then it will try to find out child phone. So, if child phone is there yes then so, then print child record form let us see this. So, print child record form. So, this is the uh, way to handle exceptions which are not having predefined name. So, thank you thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe to Naresh IT. Thank you.